on the big island. We just showed up, got our rental car. We're gonna go get some pancakes right now and then try to get settled in our hotel. And uh, Amy and I are gonna try to sneak away and go to Lava National Park tonight. Tonight? See some volcanoes. Try to see some volcanoes, so. I wanna see some lava. I wanna see some lava too. Working out of five. I bring your wrinkle, and we'll walk outside. So we just got to the hotel, and it's pretty nice, but outside is, what's the name of the little beach thing outside? Coconut Island? So we're gonna go explore the neighboring grounds and see what's around this joint. So let's go do that. Like I said, we're on the big island of Hawaii. And it's called the big island because it's big, obviously. It's the biggest of the islands, duh. But we're here for a friend's wedding. It's actually the first time that my wife and I have, I think, left our kids for this many days. We're gonna be here for like two and a half days and no kids. I have a five-year-old and a six-year-old and they're super amazing, but my wife and I have been married for eight years and we don't get a lot of time to do stuff like this. Like to come out to beautiful places like this, like without any kids. And so it's super crucial, it's super huge for us. And I think, so the, what, what that brought to mind was just the importance of balancing work and career and all the other goal stuff that you might have in your life and, and making sure you balance that with, you know, properly with family. I'm, I'm not 22 years old. There's a few questions that, that start circulating in my mind when I realize that I'm 32 years old and, and, and I don't have the time to chase my goals and my career and all that stuff like I'm 20 anymore. I just don't have the time to do that because I have to give my time to my family and I want to give my time to my family. So how do I do it? How do we balance, I don't know, like work and career and all that stuff? And the only thing that I can think of is to shift your priorities, like I was saying, shift your priorities from career to them and, and realize that number one, like I just, I can't get as much done as like the 22 year old who doesn't have a wife or kids. I just can't, it's not possible for me to post work on dribble like they do or to keep my Instagram story updated like they do. In the end, those things don't matter. Uh, and it, it, you know, they're cool, they're fun, they're fine, but it's not possible for me. And to do that, I have to sacrifice my family to do that. And I'm just not gonna do that, I can't do that. And so, um, so that's number one, like just accepting the fact that, that you can't possibly keep up with, and I don't just mean energy wise, I have lots of energy, but I can't possibly keep up with the 22 year old dude who's grinding just as hard as I am or harder, but he has way more time to hustle and grind, grind things out. I just can't, so that's number one. I think number two important thing to remember, like when balancing work and family and life when you're like a little bit further along or older like I am, is number two, you have to learn how to say or and stop saying and, right? Like you have to change your vocabulary like when you, you know, start getting into the bis position that I'm in. Like I can't say, I'm gonna do this project and this project and this project and this project. I can't do that. I'm gonna do a podcast and a vlog and a blah, 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 blah. I can't do all of those things. I have to start saying I can do a vlog or I could do a podcast or I could do this side hustle or, and you have to say or, and you have to just prioritize your time and, and 
I guess that there's kind of like a side note of this is like being a good judge of your time. Like at this point in, in my life, I have to be efficient with my time and therefore I have to know how to plan uh, and strategize with my time accordingly. Like I have to know how long it takes me to do a project. I can't just say, yeah, I'm gonna do like some sort of side project. I'll get it done in a few hours when really I should know that a project like of that caliber or something like that, it's gonna take me 30 or 40 hours. So I need to be realistic, I guess, is what I'm trying to say about my time. I think the last one that I would say is to really work on, I don't know, being satisfied and um, being happy with what I've been given. And so uh, somebody really, really smart, way smarter than me, one time told me that there's two ways to really get rich and, and not just in money, but just, you know, rich is a word that I would use in regards to, you know, contentment and satisfaction and all that stuff and none of that has to do with the American dream and lots of money but but what this person said to me is there's two ways to get rich and those two ways are number one to make more money or two want less stuff and so I think you know doesn't just have to be make more money you know uh, uh, prestige for yourself by doing more more accolades you could you could make more of those things or you could want less of those things so the things that you have feel so much more impactful and so much more like important to you. You know, does that mean that I, I can't take on projects or I can't do like cool stuff or, no, I totally can. I can, I can still accomplish goals and I just have to be much more specific and particular about the goals that I'm trying to achieve and I have to be much more efficient and determined to get those done without you know, letting things like slip off my plate and crash and fall. So I don't want that. I don't want to start a bunch of things and not finish them. I don't want to, I started my family and I don't want to not finish strong in my family. I want to be, a, I want to be the best husband. I want to be the best father. And that prize at the end of my life is going to be way better than a following on Dribble or Instagram or YouTube or whatever. And so I make these videos because they're fun and I hope that they're helpful and I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody else out there that's like 32 or 34 or 36 or 38 and you're trying to keep up with 22 year old single, you know, designers and developers in your field or whatever. It's just not going to happen. So stop living the facade and start living the dream, I guess. I don't know. That's advice for today. Try to get some sleep. Without getting anything done. Oh, oh.